reality check. Partners who accept not having kids are fine not having kids or would rather be with you than have kids are taking time bomb. Hey everyone, welcome back to Lives on Reddit. Don't forget to subscribe to be a for lifer. We see these posts every single week. Child-free individuals have partners who are not proactively child-free on their own, but who seem content to go along with things, until the day they aren't. At the risk of hurting some feelings, I will say this trend seems especially common with child-free women and their male partners. The woman reiterates year after year that she never wants children, ever, and year after year her partner smiles and nods, until his buddies start having kids and gush about the Kodak moments while their wives are doing all the scut work or his family starts pressuring him or his coworkers start giving him grief or he starts feeling antsy about a legacy, etc. Y'all, be careful out there with your hearts and bodies. A partner who says they are fine not having children because they would rather have you often leave these words unspoken. For now. Anything short of complete enthusiasm for being child-free, not just going with what you want to do, should be met with extreme wariness. I have been burned by this before, as have many people on the sub, and personally, I didn't fully trust that my current partner was truly child-free until he volunteered to get a vasectomy. Maybe that's unfair, but that's where I'm at. I just hate to see child-free people invest years of their lives in partners who are not being honest with them or their significant others. Passive acceptance and true lifestyle preference are not the same thing. I had a long discussion with my serious boyfriend about this. His family is very focused on family and both of his sisters have young children who he's incredibly proud of. There was a period of time where he would see me interact with my cat and say, I was such a good mom. I told him the comments creeped me out. He's known I don't want kids since before we dated and he stopped. I told him he needs to think hard about what kind of life he wants to lead because if it involves children, I'm not his girl. He says he'll think about it though. This post reminded me of that and now I should probably talk to him again. As others have said, bringing up sterilization, even saying you're beginning to think about it seriously, will tell you where he stands on the matter. It may also urge him to really think about it. A lot of men don't think seriously about kids until later in life. For sure, I tried getting sterilized when I had insurance that covered it. My doctor laughed at me, then I ran out of time before my insurance changed. And I've talked very openly about trying again when I have the means. But you're right, I do need to open that conversation again. If you try again and your doctor refuses, say, I would like you to document your refusal to do the request procedure in my chart or medical records, and I would like a copy before I leave your office today. This does two things. One, shows him or her that you're serious, and two, gets your desire to be sterilized documented. So if you go to a new doctor later, you can show that you've been thinking about it for a while and even requested it previously. And that is not a mere whim. Thank you for saying this, it needed to be said. As a 50 year old, I can offer two things. One, get your tubes tied or your vasectomies done as early as possible and lead with it right out of the gate. This will save you so much wasted time. You take ownership of being child free and let the chips fall where they may. It should prevent any ideas they might otherwise nurture about you changing your mind someday. Two, it gets better as you get older. I got my tubes tied at the age of 34 met my now husband at 37 and married him at 47. You can take your sweet behind time when you aren't encumbered by kids or plans to have them. Yup, I got the line, I'd rather have you than kids, followed up a while later, like a month maybe with, so like no kids ever? Always and without fail, I lurk here because I'm not child free, but my fiance is, been together five years, chose him over kids because of our communication. I encouraged him to get a vasectomy, I don't think he will change his mind. I think if I need to mother, I can find ways to volunteer in my community. I haven't felt that need. I 100% know I can be a happy, fulfilled person without kids. 
It can happen, but you have a point that it almost never does. I think likely due to a lack of communication from the person on my end. Be real and be honest with yourself and your partner. You guys are often better at that than people on my end, sadly. Thank you for saying to be safe with our bodies too. It isn't just lost time and heartache. All too often, it's our body is sick when our partners think we'll change our mind when it's ours. I harp on it all the time, but I had an ex who tried to baby trap me, caught him poking holes in the protection, joke on him, I was on birth control pills too, but still. It's sad to say, but once a woman is pregnant, depending on where she is pregnant, it is not easy to get an abortion. And if it's a woman trapping a man, well then he's sadly out of luck too. If you are child free, do not leave your fertility open to others to tamper with. Keep your pills safe, keep protection safe, seek more long-term or permanent solutions. And if your partner gets angry at your vigilance, there's the answer you need anyway. I wouldn't completely rule out casually dating people that think they might want children because sometimes they've never just realized that not having children is an option. My husband always thought he would have kids someday because that's what men do, but he never actively desired them. When I told him I didn't ever want children, he said, you know what, me neither. Over a decade and a vasectomy later, we are both happily child free and he dislikes being around children more than me. That said, if you're looking at someone for a long-term partner and they drop hints about children or act like a martyr for going without children for you, run. Yeah, I thought I would have children with my husband. We talked about it before getting married. But then I had a bit of a revelation or a meltdown about not wanting kids. And he said he was fine either way. Well, turns out after seeing our friends' lives, we couldn't be more happy and relieved with our decision. We like doing what we want too much to have small children dictate our life. Same. My husband and I assumed we would have kids and we just kept delaying and delaying. We both realized the reason we kept delaying was because neither of us actually wanted kids. So that actually worked out great for both of us. Yes, this happened with my boyfriend. I brought up my child-free status early on. He originally said, I figured I'll have kids one day, but it was clear he was pretty life stripped about it. When I said I was never doing it and I don't like children, it's like a switch flipped in his brain and he got adamantly child-free as well. It was like he didn't realize he had an alternative, but he was already 35, never married, had long-term relationships, and no kids, and so I suspected that might be the case. My boyfriend was the same way, albeit we were a 20-year-old in college when we met. He was just following the life script and told me later on that he never actually thought about being child-free until he met me. I think that it gets pushed on women at such a young age that we decide much sooner that we don't want kids than men do. Every person should ask themselves this question every year. Do I want kids? And if so, why? Emphasis on the why. It seems like the reason so many have children is because one, they feel they should, two, they're pressured into it, or three, they're unsure so they assume they do, four, they actually want to, Five, it's an accident and they decide to keep it. But almost all of them never gave it any forethought. I encourage everyone I know in or out of a relationship to actually do some soul searching and ask themselves why they want kids if they do. We shouldn't be having babies just because. Or oopsie doopsie, it was an accident. This is a human life. We shouldn't be so flippant in taking one. We shouldn't be so flippant in creating one. Couples need to think about this beforehand. And unfortunately, dear lady friends, it almost seems you need to make it more ultimatum-y because apparently dudes like to act like they don't want kids and think you'll change your mind. So using threads like that is apparently the only thing that I've seen work most of the time. Rant over. I've also been surprised with how easily people accept what they're told in this regard. I honestly can't tell if they're just unfortunately naive or purposefully stopping at the first facade of what they want to hear because lies are better than the truth. But either way, it baffles me since I've always been the type of person who refuses to accept anything about people that doesn't stand up to intense scrutiny. 
Not because I believe they'll lie as much as I simply know that we're complex and easily confused creatures and we sometimes lead others on by accident even. And this goes past having or not having kids. I always used to be that one weirdo who couldn't empathize with most people's relationship drama because how the heck did you not dig this out sooner? How was this never addressed? How did you just gloss over an important topic with a few smiles and an okay from your partner? I remember the laugh I had when I first stumbled upon the screening kit. Since it basically described my usual approach to all kinds of topics in the essence of until you've dissected it and had its DNA tested, it ain't a duck no matter how it quacks. And while that kind of approach is probably unnatural to some people, there really are benefits to having detailed and uncomfortable conversations with people you want to spend a huge chunk of your life with. I think it's fine if people are undecided and then meeting a child free person prompts them to decide for themselves sooner than they would have otherwise. But there is a very important line between making a decision of your own in that circumstance and making the decision for someone else's sake. It's a story of, and then my partner realized not having kids was actually an option versus, and then my partner kind of made an internal compromise and assured me that they're fine without kids too. Don't settle for someone else's bargaining with themselves. Prod further. Your mental health and time are worth it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't leave. Subscribe. Be a for the lifer. Ooh.